Do you hear something? I hear a little bird downstairs that's barking because she's not oh up goodness. here with us. Well, yeah, hopefully that's not going to last for too much longer. But <clears throat> don't worry, guys. Uh, we will bring Ripley up to say hello at the end of the show. So do not worry. We just, um, she's a little too squiggly right now and we got a show to do. Come on. We'll bring her up in a little bit, <clears throat> probably toward the end. So you can see, you can see how much she's grown. She's grown a whole pound. Just quickly say we brought her to the vet this week for her first vet visit. She's, uh, gained a whole pound since she's been with us. Yeah. This one's been crying about it all week. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's what happens. They grow up. Excuse my voice, by the way, I have a cold. I sound like uh Herman Munster today. Yeah. Okay, so Cheryl says, is Katie sick? She has a cold. I probably have a cold as well, but mine's not nearly as bad as Vicky's, but <clears throat> we're assuming it's a cold. This is Although, the second cold I've had in the last month. Yeah, we're just sneezing a lot. It's a lot of sneezing. Um, and this one's started down the dangerous road of using nasal spray, which uh, was a... Oh my, that barking is going on down there. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. But... Uh, what was that like a year ago or so that like I was going down that dangerous road? She was addicted to nasal spray. Well, that, you know, the nasal spray that you get, whatever there's a, the, um, whatever the active ingredient is, you become dependent on it. And so it ends up when it wears off, it like makes your nasal passages close back up again. And so it's, it, it works great. And when you need it, it works great. But then it's like, when you're not needing it anymore, you think you still need it. You kind of have to force yourself to go through a couple of nights, not being able to breathe through your nose to like get off of it. So that's probably going to happen to you. Great. Anywho, use a saline spray instead. Well, she had this other nose spray that she was using, but it just wasn't, it wasn't doing the trick anyway. So sorry, excuse the runny noses <clears throat> and my Herman Munster voice. I have clogged ears the whole deal. I know I sound mm -hmm. funny. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, maybe, saline spray doesn't really. Maybe work you're for me, just but. doing it in celebration of the new Munsters. Movie. When does that come out, anyways? Anyone know the the no Rob idea. Zombie Munsters movie? But I think I see Dana in the chat. Um, I think Dana, if you don't already have plans, I think we are going to need to in the near future, once we're over our colds, uh, go on a movie date to see the Munsters movie because it's not coming out. I'm pretty sure it's coming out soon if it hasn't already. Anywho, oh, she's such a crybaby. Welcome to the show. It's Sunday. This is our Sunday live haul. I'm Katie. This is Vicky, aka Victoria, when she wants to be taken seriously, aka Vicky, when she has a cold, <laughs> <laughs> aka my fiance. Um, anyway, so this is our Sunday show. Uh, first part of the show, we look at our real numbers for the last week. And yes, indeed, it does look like Q4 is finally here. Um, second part of the show, we look at some of our sales highlights over the last week. Uh, and at the last part of the show, we do our haul. We went to an estate sale. Vicky's been, we talked about this last week. Vicky's been trying to um, basically buckle down and actually go after hard goods more. And uh, it's been working out. Uh, I only got a couple of things. So I only have like a handful of things to show you guys, including an amazing amazing transformation project that uh crystal helped me with i can't wait to show that off to you guys oh, yeah. um excuse me oh Sorry. my the barking i had to blow there. my nose i had yeah. to dip off camera you didn't need to see that <laughs> <laughs> anyway so that's gonna be pretty cool but speaking of q4 listen guys you know, we've talked about this before in a normal year fourth quarter which usually starts beginning of october through the end of the year Although January is usually pretty good too. Uh, typically, you do see a bump in sales. Depends on what you sell. But even for people who sell old clothes like me, we'll see a jump in sales. Uh, last year was not a typical year. So for us, I'm sure some people still had a Q4. For us, Q4 was not existent. We didn't see those bumps. My right. numbers last year, uh, especially November and December, they were dropped. The same. No, mine dropped because I, I went and looked back at my, um, my uh, 1099s from eBay. Way big drop from October. Okay. So this year, though, what's happening? This year, it uh, came up in the last week. So last couple weeks. Last couple weeks. Week. So yeah, last couple weeks because we had a, both had a really good week. You you murdered me, and uh, today I'm already over six hundred dollars in sales. So my next week is starting out pretty good. Nice. Starting out pretty nice. Anyway, I'm only at three hundred today. So yeah. Yeah, we've been, we have been engaged for four years. <laughs> we have been enfianced for four years. What's the holdup? The lots of things. 
That's not true. I'm just kidding. That's not true. Uh, a, the first holdup was uh, a lawsuit from an asshole that that held us back because we had to spend a lot yeah. of money on lawyers. Uh, second holdup was the same because we... The second holdup was the was, same. Yeah. And the third holdup was uh, COVID. Yeah. And then COVID again. So, uh, yeah, we are going to do it next year at some point. Yeah. We're not going to do like a, a wedding wedding anymore, but we're going to get married. But we were hoping to be able to go on a honeymoon to Italy afterwards. And so obviously with COVID, travel plans, whatever. But I mean, we live together. We pretty much work together. I mean, it's really, it's not like we're waiting to start our new lives together. Um, so she's stuck with me whether she likes it or not. I don't have a car, you guys. So what, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? You I keep mean, saying that. <laughs> it's true. I, I sold my car. I have nowhere to go. She sold her car four years ago. <laughs> yeah. So where I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I can Uber, but I mean, I don't want to go that far. I, I'm pretty cheap. Uh... So anyway, and until Casey gets married, Casey will always have been uh, in beyond what do you say? On fiance longer than us. That's true. And I don't, as far as I know, they don't have a date, do they? Nope. Yeah. No. Oh, that little puppy. Yeah, we only have one car. Uh, Katie drives most of the time. It's my car, but Katie drives I'm most of the drive. time. Uh, we've never, because we work, both work outside of the house and we do 99% of the things in the world together, we didn't see the need to have a second car. And actually, it's been an inconvenience maybe two or three times in the last four yes. years. Yes. So we don't need two cars. Uh, and I don't know what the conversation is, but yes, Ghostbusters. I want to see Ghostbusters as well. So Dana, we can do that too. I don't know. Uh, I've been only hearing good things. So uh, so before we actually get started, I wanted to uh, tell a couple of you guys, there is a brand new announcement that has just hit from List Perfectly. Uh, and it is not going to be announced publicly until Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. So I'm going to give you a first hit uh, information on List Perfectly. Uh, just so you know, those of you that use List Perfectly, and if you use Photo Room for your background remover in conjunction with List Perfectly, they are about to announce that you'll be able to do bulk uh, image enhancement through Photo Room. Uh, background right, removal, yeah, right? back, uh, bulk background removal using Photo Room right through the List Perfectly platform, where it was only one at a time before bulk image enhancement is a much faster way to do things. If you're like me, I like to have all of mine have that uh, clear background, that white background, and not just the first photo. So if you have been not using it or if you've been uh, hesitating to use it because of that, and that's your, the way your process works, just know that it happens. It's going to be happening this week. You will have bulk image background remover uh, happening on List Perfectly. If you don't use List Perfectly yet, there is a link down below. You do get 30% off your first month. Also 30% off if you decide to upgrade uh, to whatever membership you have. Just so you know, that is for pro membership and above. Uh, the pro level and above, not your basic level. Pro level and above, which is where photo, uh, the photo room background remover is, uh, is available. And the bulk is for pro and above as well. But anyway, if you want the link down below, it's LV Pink Peacock. 77. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know uh, or ask, but uh, they're going to be doing a video and announcement in a few days about it. But I think you might have heard it here first. Yeah, well, we think so anyway. But hold on. We need if I could do it. If I had sound effects, I would do a record scratch. Teresa just said, should I see the first Ghostbusters? I hope you're talking about the subpar Ghostbusters that came out a couple of years ago. No. And you're not talking about the original Ghostbusters, in which case I would say, what is wrong with you, Teresa? I'm embarrassed to have you up on my wall back there, <laughs> Teresa. I cannot believe the even the mere thought that you've never seen the original Ghostbusters, which is an amazing movie. And I wish that you lived here so I could force you to come over and watch it with me immediately after the show. But and yeah, like, like Liz says, that is one more reason to upgrade to the pro plan if you don't already have the pro plan. And again, that 30% off does give you 30% off the difference if you decide to upgrade as well. Yeah. Just so you yeah. know. Absolutely. <clears throat> Teresa, I don't even know you anymore. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I can't move on. The, my whole world is you gotta let it down go. around me. You got to let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Teresa's a weirdo. We already know this. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's go ahead and look at our numbers for the last week. Should I just go get that? Get her? Yeah, just go get the baby. Otherwise, we're gonna, can, can you start with the numbers so people don't have to stare at each other? Or do I have to no, add, you, I have to you, add lib? Why don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't like talk to the people. Oh, okay. I have to add lib, apparently. It's She's going to go get the puppy because the puppy will not people. stop barking. 
She's very upset. We did not bring her. Just napping. So she was dead asleep when we came up when I came upstairs. But now she's now she's mad. All right, let me check the the uh, chat here and see if there are any questions. People are still talking about Ghostbusters. Cheryl and Pam had some kind of challenge happening. I don't know what it is, but apparently it's uh, she has a stress fracture and a black eye from her challenge, whatever it may be. I'm not so sure what that is. You guys are weird. <laughs> um, glad to see Greg in the chat. Thanks. Thanks for popping in. Dupage Picker. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm not good at ad-libbing, guys. Chris, she did hear us talking. Seriously, she could hear us talking up here because we're quiet. We were both working in our offices and she was asleep. She didn't hear anything. And then she can hear us talking and she's like pissed. She wants to be a part of it. She's barking, barking, barking in her little playpen downstairs. So here she comes, squiggly. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, girl, she'll chew you up. That is so true. She will chew you up. <laughs> she is a man eater. I did, Pam. I did get my box, and I did do an unboxing video. It's going to be uploaded this week, just so you know. Oh, man. Hi, Jess. Nice to see you pop in. Hold on. And here's a, here's a here's, Ripley thing. Here's the rotten Ripley, who's very yappy right now. And she has gained a whole pound over the last two weeks. She's 3.7 pounds now. Yeah. And a whole lot of trouble. She That's has not cute. destroyed anything, Chris. Actually, no. she likes to bite people. Yeah, she likes she likes to chew on fingers and legs and pant legs, uh, but she hasn't destroyed anything. No, uh, we keep an eye on her pretty much. Um, although this last week we've been letting her. You know, we have the dogs downstairs. We have our kitchen, and I guess you'd call it a family room, mm -hmm. living room. It's where our TV is and stuff. It's all tile, and so we keep the dogs. We keep a gate there because we don't want the dogs upstairs. And uh, so the last week we've been letting her just kind of be out and about with the other dogs and we, it's pretty much puppy proofed. Yeah. And uh, although we had to put we, a, an extra gate up because the other gate, we figured out she could fit right through. She it. squiggles right through it. She sticks her head right through and she gets stuck. Oh, speaking of, so Teresa wants to know how big will she get. So we went, went to the vet and we asked the guy, we don't think that he knows what he's talking about, but we asked the guy how big he thought she might get. And he's like, oh, you know, 15, 20 pounds. And we're like, what? I don't think she's going to get that big. She's close to being the runt of her litter. She's a Chihuahua um, Dachshund mix, a Chihuahua. And I know some Dachshunds can get bigger. She's um, not going to be that big. I think she'll probably get top out around 10, seven, maybe 10, seven or eight pounds. I think Grizz is like 11 pounds uh, and Grizz is kind of scrawny, but um, so, I, you know, but 20 pounds, come on, not going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Let's get, now that we've got this one relatively quiet here. Let's get into our show. Let's look at our numbers. Like I said, numbers were great the week before and last week uh, even better. And especially Vicky, she's killing it. Um, let's see. Go ahead and... Oh, what happened? I was sharing. Hold on a second. I guess the share went away because I waited too long. Share screen. So yeah, I had it all set up for the show and then bam. All right. Look at that, guys. Look at those numbers. And Vicky's <laughs> face is really small, but she is rolling her eyes right now. Uh, um, okay, so for me, uh, again, another week where I was over 2000 on eBay, which makes me very, very happy. This is uh, the week ending yesterday. So 18 eBay orders, 13 between Etsy and Thrilling, with five of those being Thrilling. Uh, thrilling is actually doing a Black Friday um, sale that started yesterday and goes through the 29th. I think, uh, you had to opt in and Vicki and I both opted in, uh, it's 30% off. And so I'm definitely seeing a bump in my sales there. I have sold one thing for $25. <laughs> Thrilling started out like gangbusters for me and I haven't yeah. sold shit in over a, a month now. Um, my apologies. I'm a little bit upset. <clears throat> uh, nothing Instagram and then grailed and Mercari, uh, seven sales. I think three of those were Mercari. So eBay, my gross was $2,190.38. I would love to always get at least $2,000 on eBay. Um, Etsy and Thrilling together, $739.10, with 317 of that being from those Thrilling sales. Nothing on Instagram. And then Grilled and Mercari were $720 together. So my total gross sales uh, definitely up a bit from last week, $3,649.48. My shipping, $236.99. And then you can see the breakdown of all my fees there. My cost of goods, definitely, uh, you know, when I'm selling more items and I have some stuff I paid up for, you always see those cost of goods go up for me, $625. 
Net total sales, $2,371.67. Again, I love it. If I can net over $2,000 every week, I'd be happy. My gross, look at that. I almost hit $100 gross, you guys. That's a gr gross average sale price. That's pretty uh, good. $96.04 for my gross average sale price. A lot of that has to do with one particular item I sold, which I will be showing you in the next segment. Um, and so my net average sale price, $62.41. I'm pretty, 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 pretty happy good. about that. Now, if you guys remember when things were normal back in the olden days, uh, even when I would have a good week, Vicky's week is generally better. So let's see what she's got going on. Uh, so I had a good week. This is a good Q4 week. So I did 33 orders on eBay. Uh, let's see. I did eight on Etsy and two on Thrilling, 15 on Poshmark and three on Macari for a total of 61 orders for the week. I did 2666 and change on eBay. 666. 997. Yep. 997 and change between Etsy and Thrilling. I didn't have any sales on Depop. Um, I'm mm -hmm. dropping Depop after the first of the year. Uh, 531 on Poshmark, 159 on Macari for a total of 4353 and change. What? It's a good week. Good week. I know we broke 8,000 between the two of us. $373 in shipping. I did have some heavy items that were shipped, and I'll, I'll show those in a moment. Uh, eBay fees, Etsy fees, Poshmark fees, Macari fees, total fees, a little over $900. My cost of goods, $237. I actually had a couple of items that were a little bit pricey that were my costs. Ooh. I know, which is like anything over $5 is expensive for me, right? So $237 is pretty high, but my total net was over $3,200 for the week. That's a good week. Yeah. I'd be very happy to have a total net of over $3,000 every single week. So $32.14 and 57 cents, my net sales. My gross average sale price is, was high this week. That's where I like it to be. It hasn't been there all year uh, since the beginning of the year. Yeah, so, your goal is so, what, 60? About 60. So anything over that's awesome. Yeah, so $71.37. And then my net average sale price was $52 and change. So it was a very good week. Felt like a Christmas miracle, Let Danica, me I'm telling you. tell you, we did not have this last year. At least we didn't. And so two years later to finally have some uh, some actual Q4 sales is pretty awesome. Of course, that means that... And that's exactly right what Jamie says. Look at my sales numbers. If I did not use List Perfectly to cross post, it would be almost half of my sales. Okay, so yeah. before I started using List Perfectly, I was relying just on eBay, and I would occasionally have a sale on Etsy because I would add about 20 items a month to Etsy manually, or I would have Dana do it, actually, when mm -hmm. Dana was working for me. So 2600 in eBay, which is still a good eBay week, but I wouldn't have any of the other sales without List Perfectly. If you are not cross-posting, you are missing out. List Perfectly has saved my ass for the last two years. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, and now because our sales are going really well, that means that Vicky transitions. Sorry. She transitions me. from bitching about no sales to now she complains about having to ship everything. So I have not just... been complaining about shipping. <laughs> Shut up. Shipping and, and, or not being able to find stuff. Those are the, those that's, are the two that's things. It's very true. I do um, complain about the not being able to find stuff. Anyway, I think in between each segment, we will have to show the puppy. She's look at that cute little pink belly. And it's like soft, like velvet. She's real cute. She's real cute. Look at her. Look at her, you guys. Look at her. Look at her. Anyway. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and look at our sales highlights for the week. Starting with all kinds of fun hard goods here we go what you got here what is it tell us about it just a vintage just what it says there vintage fitz and floyd this is something that actually had fallen off of ebay that my daughter found when she did inventory so it had been there for a while i've had this item for probably four years at least uh and the fact that it wasn't listed i have no idea how long it wasn't listed but clearly it wasn't listed for at least two of those last four years and it has now been relisted for less than a month and sold right in time for thanksgiving very so cool. paca, paca. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it, but probably about four or five dollars a million years ago. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. First up for me, I love this T-shirt. I don't, I don't think I've had this for very long, maybe a couple of months. Um, I don't, You guys know how I feel about skiing T-shirts, but this one's extra fantastic because it's got Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. No guts, no glory. Um, I seriously, I've maybe had this listed for a couple of months. I haven't had it for very long and it sold for the full price. You see there 97 99 and the guy who bought it, um, actually paid extra to have it sent express, um, which speaking of, uh, make sure that uh, on your, for your eBay listings, make sure you have additional, 
like people can upgrade their shipping if possible. Like I have it. So all my stuff is free um, first class, even the stuff I don't send first class. I don't have any options on mine. I know. We they don't. get it when they get it. I get it. I want to send but it. Guess, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. They will pay extra and I'm okay with that. So because they paid extra, I made a little bit more money. They paid $23 to have this shift and I just put it in a padded flat rate express envelope, easy peasy. And people are going to like to be able to have the option to have stuff shipped quicker. So anyway. The other reason this sold very highly is because I think I said this last time when you showed this, Calvin and Hobbes doesn't license anything. So there are very few items of clothing or anything uh, Calvin and Hobbes out there other than the, like the, you know, Calvin peeing on the Ford symbol or the Chevy symbol or those stupid stickers that are out mm -hmm. there, but you don't see a lot. So this is licensed, but it's not licensed by Calvin and Hobbes. Bad Boys is not, or whatever that says, is yeah, not a Calvin it's... and Hobbes license. Um, anyway, so you don't find it very often. So if you find Calvin and Hobbes anything, buy it. Yeah. All right. Next up for you. This is just a basic vintage 1970s Navy pea coat. Um, it, it was missing a button and everything, uh, but I wanted to show there, it says my shipping for some reason was incorrect. Mm -hmm. My shipping is actually, was $14.95 on it. $50 economy. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> how it got there, but my customer purchased it and then sent me a message and said, I don't think that you meant to have $50 shipping, did you? Now, I could have been an asshole and said, you paid it, so I'm not giving you a refund. But yeah. no, I really did not mean to have it. So I actually gave them a $35 refund because I had no intention of the shipping being that. And I don't even know how it got there because I don't do calculated. I do a flat rate. Yeah. So uh, I this came from my uh, big haul from the clothing vault. So this was just a vintage, basic vintage, uh, actual Navy, Navy pea coat. Um, it, so it sold for, you know, 120 plus shipping. Nice. Very nice. Very heavy. It's like four to five pounds. So. Yeah. All right. Um, now we... Oh, Michelle, there, I have a video, uh, I have a video down below that's, it says something like new ring light video, even though now it's like two years old, but I show how to do the settings. Um, when I use my phone, how to, how to set your, um, your white balance and then, and then making your picture darker or lighter. Um, because I'm super, uh, obsessive about making sure my colors look right. And my yeah, her pictures right. are way better than mine. But if you look at that video, that should tell you it's really all about having the correct white balance and then adjusting the brightness. Um, and you shouldn't have any problems once you figure out how to do that. Um, okay, so this is uh, one of those things that I had forever. And I did, I had gone and ended at like probably 1400 of my listings um, and did sell similar because I was just like so, so sick of like not having any decent sales. And uh, this is one of the things that sold. Um, I sent out offers for like a hundred dollars. This is not vintage, um, but I paid like 20 bucks for it forever ago. It's not a vintage jacket, but it's Pendleton. And I think you actually have a Pendleton coming up next too. Um, but yours is actually vintage. Uh, so I sent out an offer for a hundred and somebody accepted. And that was based on it being relisted or sell similar relisted um, and somebody following it and then me sending out an offer. So I was like, hot diggity dog, get that out of the house and give me a hundred dollars. But here you go. Uh, this is a vintage Pendleton. So this was uh, purchased. I think this was a Torgum. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so about right? 15, maybe $15 from Torgum because I had a whole bunch of robes and smoking jackets. I'm down to, I think, one. I had about 10 uh, last year. And so it sold for the price you see there. I, I spent about $15 on it. It sold for $139.96. It was just a sale price. That's why it's got a weird number there. People underprice these so much all the time. People underprice them all the time. This particular one is a very Christmassy plaid pattern, mm -hmm. red and green. So uh, I was hoping it was going to sell last year at this time, and it did not. But it sold this year. So that's it. Paid fifteen dollars. It sold for one thirty nine ninety six. Nice. Stop chewing on my new shirt. She was probably going to destroy something during the show. <laughs> I need to. I don't know where a blanket is. It's over there. Um. All right, next up, stop it. Give her to me. Here, you take her. She's she's sitting good, but she's chomping on my shirt. It's like the first time I've worn it. Okay, so here's yet another one I've had for a really long time. I only paid like 20 bucks for this one as well, but um, it's an Alpha Industries flight bomber jacket. And uh, it actually it didn't have tags, but it still had, you can see the little the little paper that's wrapped around the, the zipper. 
Um, and it had that, I think it had like a couple of zippers that, that still had, yeah, you can see right there you know, at the bottom. So I knew that this was new, that nobody had worn this yet, because obviously you wouldn't be like wearing this with the paper still wrapped around the zippers. Um, but I've had this for freaking ever. And yeah, somebody, years somebody actually sent me an offer for 105 and I was like, yep, I'll take your money and send you this jacket because I want it out of here. I've had it way, way too long. There's, you know, this isn't. Now that I've kind of focused more on t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff, this isn't very exciting to me, this particular jacket. So I was happy to get it out of the house. Is she trying to chew on you now? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, this was another Clothing Vault purchase. Uh, it's, it shows from, uh, it, that's the price it sold for. It was very small. It's a small, and, it, and by small, I mean small. Uh, it sold for the price you see there. I've had it listed for about a year. Also, a lot of these things that you're seeing, these older items, uh, all have been, I did the same thing. I did end a lot and did a lot of sell similar. I did not change anything about these things, except I increased the price by $5 across the board on everything. Uh, so this sold for $239.96. This actually was an inter international sale. So they also paid shipping to, I don't remember where it went, somewhere in Europe, um, but $239.96. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. Next up, I sold another pair of my Vans. Uh, shoes, Pennywise shoes. Um, this particular pair, I took an offer. Somebody, I had sent out an offer. I don't know. We went back and forth a couple times, but they ended up paying 165. But what I wanted to say for any of you that don't know this, um, eBay has been the last year or so has been really trying to up their shoe game. I think they know that like, you know, sneakerheads and stuff are, are, you know, shoes are big, big money and they tend to, the demographic tends to go a little bit younger. Um, so they're trying to stay relevant. And so if you were selling shoes for a hundred dollars or more, no fees. So, uh, and then the, they also have to go to authenticator and I'm really lucky that we live in Vegas and, uh, we happen to have the sneaker authenticator place is here in Vegas. And so, um, instead of having to ship this to wherever it had to go across the country, it only cost me like $8 to ship these shoes here in Vegas. Plus they went super quick. They were authenticated super quickly and then went out to my um, buyer. And again, they paid 165 and I don't have to pay any fees. So I saved like what, 10% probably around there. Um, 11. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you still have to pay for like the, the uh, payment processing fees, but um, super good deal. I paid $65 for these shoes and turned around and sold them for 165. And I still have, I bought six pairs of shoes. I've sold three. Um, so I still have three left, but hopefully they will uh, sell by the end of the holidays. Uh, so this I showed two weeks ago. I picked this up about two weeks ago at a um, estate sale. I had paid, what was it, $20, $24. It was mm -hmm. $40. And then it was 40% uh, off that day, I believe. Um, so uh, I, I, I paid $24. I, I priced it high enough knowing it was going to roll into a sale price. And knowing that's a blurry picture, I uh, know I took these photos, not mm -hmm. crystal, knowing that the sale price was going to align itself with like the highest historical sold price for these type of clocks. So it was listed for two or three days. Yeah, not long. And it sold for two fifty seven thirty six, which is pretty much the highest sale price yeah. for this type of clock. I think you showed this last week in last week's haul. Two weeks ago. Is it? Okay. Yeah. But because I picked nice. it up two weeks ago, two weeks and two and a day ago. Uh, so it sold very quickly. Now, this is going to be a bitch to ship. Don't get me wrong. Um, I charged $30 shipping. It will cost me every bit of that, probably a little bit more. This needs to ship in two boxes. Uh, the clock itself is very easy to stabilize and ship. It's the gl glass dome that is a mess. The glass dome uh, is going to be difficult to ship. So yeah. I need to ship this in two separate boxes. And of course, it's going somewhere like Florida. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Sandra wants to know if the Pennywise shoes float. What do you think? I don't know. Ask you know. Dana. Ask Dana if she threw him in the bathtub yet. <laughs> All right. So next up, I'm not going to uh, close this window just yet, but I had teased in um, the post I made in the Boss uh, Facebook group that I was going to be showing um, a record-breaking T-shirt sale for me on eBay. Uh, for those of you that, that follow us, uh, if you remember, what was it last year? I sold um, an ET t-shirt on, uh, the virtual flea on Instagram. Um, it was an auction that I sold it for $900. So that still is my record, um, for a single t-shirt sale is $900. It's the highest price I've ever sold a t-shirt for. But this week I broke my eBay record 
for a t-shirt sale. I think my previous <laughs> highest price, I think was maybe $450. But if you guys are ready, here we go. I'm going to show it to you. Bam. This Evil Dead 2 t-shirt. I think I showed it last week or the week before, probably the week before. Uh, this Evil Dead 2 t-shirt, I did sell it for the price you see there, $699.99. Um, I bought this at uh, at ThriftCon, and I actually bought it from Jesse from Yesterday's Fits. But at ThriftCon, when I got in there that morning, he had already uh, bought a bunch of stuff from other sellers. But then he had like this big bulk buy that he was going to be doing. He was just waiting to have enough cash. And so I ended up actually giving him all of the cash I had uh, as, a, as a quick loaner for the day so he could go make this bulk purchase. And this was one of the t-shirts that was in that, uh, that bulk purchase. And then I turned around and bought it from him and I paid, I have no idea how much he paid for it, but I paid him a hundred dollars for this t-shirt. Um, this particular one, so Evil Dead 2 came out in the eighties, but this is dated. You'll see it's dated 1992 and it says Western Renaissance Pictures, which is actually the uh, company that, um, that, Army of Darkness came uh, came out of, and Army of Darkness came out in 1992, which is the sequel to Evil Dead 2. And so I'm assuming this t-shirt was made kind of as a promo around the time when that particular movie came out. Um, but there weren't any currently available. I found a couple that were like sold maybe a year or so ago. Um, so I didn't really have a set price to put on it. So I put this really high price on it. It was supposed to roll into a 30% off sale. And somebody, so it was going to go on sale for $480. Somebody immediately offered 300. I countered with 400 and I was thinking to myself, am I going to end up regretting not taking that $300 offer? They did not accept the $400 offer. It did not roll into the sale guys. So I woke up the next morning and it had sold for full price, $699 and 99 cents. That's when you're grateful that the eBay sale takes a few hours to kick I in. I know sometimes. sometimes it'll be like 20 minutes later. It's already on sale. Uh, so I sold it for $700. Um, who knows? Maybe I could have sold it for more, but I'm pretty happy with that. I paid a hundred, sold it for 700. It actually went to Canada. So they paid for shipping. So I made an extra handful of dollars from that. Um, but I'm pretty stoked. This is, I think it's a really cool shirt. It's a great graphic. It's a good size. It wasn't it, too super tiny. And, uh, it, it's a beloved, beloved movie and character, uh, and Bruce Campbell, the actor of so, yours. I said beloved just because you are lame. Why don't you go hang out with Teresa and <laughs> not watch cool movies and be True. super lame. Um, <coughs> anyway, but I was super excited about that. And that, that definitely gave me a huge bump this week. Faux show. I'm like, Faux show. I seriously on eBay am up like almost 70% over the, the previous 31 days. That's pretty sad. That's because your sales were so bad last night. <laughs> and that's, it is very true because my sales were so bad. All right. I'm going to bask in this for just another second here. It was so wonderful. I saw Are you done? Fun. Excuse I said I was going to bask. Look at She won't let me bask, you guys. <laughs> hold on a second. I need to hold on. Hold on. Where's my, where's my mouse? I need to, you need to full right. screen I need it. Better, I need a better bask. What a wonderful sale. I sold it for $700. You sound like a priest. It is a very <laughs> biblical, it's a religious and spiritual, and religious experience right now. And you interrupted me again, so now I have to start over. Stop. Let's go. <laughs> what a wonderful sale. I'm going to punch her. <laughs> Well, you shouldn't interrupt interrupted me there, man. Um, all right, go ahead. What's this piece of crap you sold? <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, it's what you see there. I talked about this two weeks ago. Same uh, estate sale as the clock, I believe. Um, I paid uh, sixteen dollars for this, and it sold within twenty four hours for two ninety nine ninety five. I charged $50 shipping and it cost $48 and change to wow. ship it. I did insure it just because, uh, but I packaged it very securely and it was a big oversized box. I shipped it UPS <clears throat> and I think it went to Missouri, uh, but they paid $299.95. And I'm going to tell you uh, that particular Electrolux, the original receipt was in there and they paid $175 for it. So I got $125 more than they paid for it in 2006. Very nice. Very nice. By the way, I just want to point out that Christine says I'm the best. So. Today. Today. She did not say. <laughs> she did not qualify it. I did. Yeah, you did because you're bitter. You're bitter. 
Yeah, that's me. Uh, and Michelle says that she just took communion without asking for it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sandra, I don't know if I should take that the, my act on the on the road, but anything. Else? I packed it, Jen. I packed it. All all I ask Katie to do, people think I make her pack everything. I really don't. All I ask her to do is help me when I need to franken box or resize a box. As far as packaging an item and getting it put together, I've been doing this a very long time. Sometimes she needs to hold it while I wrap it in bubble wrap if it's big or vice versa. That's about it. So really with pack, the eye rolling. So you, so you pack this one all by yourself. I did pack this one all by myself. So you packed it all by yourself. You resized the box. Yeah. I just said that. But, you, but I I did the hard work of resizing and I taped it up. And then what, what happened when I resized? Listen, guys, she calls me in. She calls me in to help <sighs> her, right? Okay. This is her item that she, she needs shipped. Her <laughs> item. Okay. She calls me to come help her. So I come down. I get the box cutter. I get the little resizer tool. I measure it. I cut it. Everything. What does she do? Does she come out and say, oh, thank you so much for helping me. I appreciate it so much. What Does she do that? No. You know what she does? She yells at me. She yells at me because she had just vacuumed the floor. And apparently I should have cut the box without any particles touching the floor. Somehow, I guess I should have laid down, laid down some like uh, some painter sheets. I had literally vacuumed five minutes before. But I'm asking you, and then it had cardboard schmutz everywhere. But I'm asking you, what was your what was your solution? I'm gonna that? punch you. Can we fucking move on? <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. Anything else about your? Would you, would you like a little bit more congratulatory sales uh, for, for my sale itself? A, I want you to sing a religious. Song it's not about. happening. Do you understand? I still feel sick. <laughs> Give me a break. I sound terrible. I feel terrible. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to punch her right in the nose. It's okay. This one's trying to chew the buttons off my new shirt. I'm going to hold on. I got to, I got to put a protective shield. Uh, all right. Anything about your, your sucky sale? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Just okay. don't pass up the big bulky crap. Cause it sells. It's true. It's true. Uh, and luckily we did have a box that was just the right size. I mean, it needed to be like cut down, but uh, at least it didn't need to be completely built. That's All right. True. Next up is this Rose Bowl 1984 UCLA Bruins sweatshirt. Uh, nothing particularly exciting about it other than, like I always say, any of the college stuff, um, vintage college stuff or pro sports stuff always does well. You want to make sure you pick it up. I love finding like the 80s stuff. And this particular one, I listed it, and it seriously sold that same day, which has not happened in a while. So I thought that was pretty cool. So it didn't even, uh, it hadn't even gone on sale or anything like that, because um, I do have a ten percent off sale, but it starts at the beginning of every month on Etsy. So this sold for full price, ninety nine ninety nine. Um, so I was pretty happy Ooh. about that. I listed. It. Ooh, are you impressed? Very. I know. Not. So rude. So rude. Christine How's it feel? Impressed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a decent sale on Poshmark. These were a pair of snow boots, DC snow boots, uh, also from the clothing vault buyout. Uh, so a few dollars uh, invested it and it was sold for $97. And it was actually, those are new. They were new in box. Uh, so that was a really good uh, sale. I mean, you don't get really get high price sales on Poshmark. I don't get high price sales on Poshmark very often. Uh, and that was a full price. Very nice sale on Poshmark. Very nice. They're just snow boots. They were new, unused, still had the price tag on them. And I think they were like 129 new. So they weren't even, uh, that wasn't deeply discounted or anything. Very nice. I remember getting those boots. All right. Next up is this fancy, fancy uh, sweater, ski sweater. It's a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, whatever. You say you say Lauren, I say Lauren. I don't know why. You say Ralph Lauren, I say Ralph Lauren. What's the, what's the I right way? I say Lauren. Do you? I thought you said, I've heard you say Lauren before. I, you say, I, there's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. There's, I know, but that's I thought, a line. Okay. So we both said Ralph Lauren. <laughs> so this is Lauren by Ralph Lauren, then I guess. Um, ski sweater. And uh, I paid like thirty dollars. I bought it from Jesse yesterday's fits. Paid thirty and sold it for one hundred and eight. I had it listed for I think it was down to one forty nine. And the person was like, "Is this still available?" I said, "Yes." They're like, "Would you take 50 And I said, "No." And then they said, "How about a hundred? And I said, "Okay." And then they sent an offer for one hundred and eight. And I'm like, "All right, thanks for the extra eight dollars. Thanks for the tip, man." 
Um, but again, love me some skiing stuff. So of course I had to grab this, even though Lauren is actually, Lauren is actually like one of their lower, uh, yep, lower lines, end lines. Lower yep. end lines. So but uh, still, K it's, it's KB, KB says screens looking blurry. Refresh your screen. It's not blurry on this side. Yeah, it looks good. on our side. Cause we have two screens open. So we yeah, can I see, haven't we can see the feed. Um, okay. Next up for you. Ooh, this is fancy. It is. This was a bins find, actually. Uh, so I got this within the past few months. I got this at the bins. So I probably paid two or three dollars. Uh, but based on weight, it's it's big and bulky, but it's not heavy. It's very lightweight. Uh, so it sold on Etsy. Oh, sorry. I was just not paying attention. How, but look, look at what, I'm, what I was looking at. Yes, I see. Come on. Look at this. Look how cute she is. <laughs> She's like, uh, she's like laying, lounging on her back in my lap and looking really cute. All right. It's a little hard to reach. Well, it can tell it's ski season. It's jacket mm -hmm. season. So, uh, sold on, uh, for one twenty nine ninety five on Etsy paid two or $3 for this. Yeah. We yeah. did sell a lot of ski stuff this week. Yeah. A lot of ski stuff, a lot of winter stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Next up. Bam! Check that out. I sold. So I actually bought these shoes for myself um, because I was I had looked up. You know, I, I had seen the advertisement for the the horror um, line of shoes that were coming out this year, and but they didn't show the Exorcist one. All the advertisements just showed Freddy and It and The Shining, um, and there might have been one other one in there, but none of them had the Exorcist. And I was looking up something else, and I happened to see these shoes, and I'm like, I need them. And so I bought them and I didn't really realize that they were, they have like uh, suede, um, which Vicky thinks I'm weird, but I just didn't really want suede shoes. Um, I know we live in the desert. It's more about like, I just don't really like suede shoes. I've had them before in the past. I'm over it. I don't want it. I want canvas shoes. So I was, okay. I went ahead and listed them and sold them for 158 on the old Grailed. But I also wanted to show they got to their destination and the guy uh, gave me, um a review already and said best vans i've ever purchased fire so i'm <laughs> glad that somebody really appreciated their cool vans that i gave up very cool yeah all right i, I paid 65 for those as well so these uh ugly creepy things they're really creeping me out man were uh they're pretty big they're both 27 inches long and i picked these up in atlanta you didn't wash their faces. Uh, yeah, they're they're flocked and they were a little bit dirty looking. I didn't wash them. I didn't do anything with them other than list them. I did not take these photos and neither did Crystal. I'm just going to preface that. Uh, but they sold, they've been listed for a couple of months, but it's Christmas season mm -hmm. now. So uh, I had charged shipping on these. I don't charge shipping on a lot of things on Etsy because it's uh, my highest priced platform. Uh, but I paid on average about three dollars a piece for these. They came from Atlanta. We purchased. I purchased these when we were uh, getting some things from the warehouse, uh, Reflections of Trinity, Lori's warehouse in Atlanta, and they sold for seventy nine ninety five. And the buyer paid twenty dollars shipping. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dana says that. She got me suede shoes and a matching suede jogging suit for Christmas. Well, too bad. You're going to have to return that crap. Maybe just buy me some popcorn at the movie. That we'll call it even. Uh, okay. Anything else with these guys? No. They're just good Christmassy sale. Ugly mothers. And they still sold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weird. All right. So this one, it's not a particular... I, I can tell you're super excited. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> super excited. Oh, I'm sorry. My lack of enthusiasm. Yeah, about everything. <laughs> Which is pretty much everything I show. Uh, although I do need to take a picture of... <coughs> hold on, guys. I got to take a picture of this dog in my lap, and I will post it um, in the in the boss group. Because seriously, like, you saw how squiggly and she was trying to eat my shirt. And now she's, like, completely passed out in my lap, looking ridiculously cute. Her little hind legs are, like, crossed. Do you see her right now? Yes, I okay. can see her. Please, but they can't. Please tell the people how freaking you're interrupting the show. I know, but they're going to see the picture later on. Okay, so this shirt is not anything crazy, but uh, I bought these. I bought a bunch of these. If you guys remember, maybe like a month ago at yesterday's fits, and they're all like from the Rio Casino, and they're all like promo shirts. 
some kind of printer or something like that. But this particular one um, it was was for one particular game, Super Bowl game between uh, Buffalo and Washington. And uh, somebody con contacted me earlier this week and they were like, hey, how soon can I get this? Um, I have a football party I'm going to be at on Sunday and I really want to wear this shirt. And I'm like, hey, pay full price. Like, don't make an offer. Just pay the full price. And I'll go ahead and send it to you today, um, priority, which normally I would just send it first class. But I knew I would sell the shirt for like 50 bucks. So if they paid 58, I was happy to throw it, throw it in there. And guess what? It got there yesterday. And she left a review. Thanks for shipping right away. Got in time for my event tomorrow. You rock. And so I was, I was excited because I'm like, oh, what if it like... USPS, which is not so reliable these days, did not pull through, but luckily it actually got there the day before she needed it. So I was Aww. happy with that. So we have a super chat um, from Turtle Bug Inc. That's yeah. really sweet. Nice. Um, My husband just said, are you listening to those girls in Vegas again? LOL. Thanks for all you guys do. We are saving for a gestational carrier to help us start our family. Your cross section of item info is so helpful. That's awesome. That's really exciting. And thank you. We very much appreciate the support. Thank and, you for the uh, support and thank you for watching. And I hope that uh, your savings goes well and we'll wish you luck with your soon to be family. Yes, absolutely. And all we ask is that you name them after us. Yes. Um, name your, name your first child. Yes. So Katie and Vicky. Yeah. I don't know. You somehow have to like put our names. Hyphenate it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You can, I think you can make it work though. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, that's not weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We do really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let me, all right. You sold some books. I did. I picked these up at the bins as well. And they actually had only charged me $2 for this entire box of books. Uh, not $2 a piece, $2 for the entire box. They were already in a box and I shipped them in the box that they, uh, they I picked them up in. Uh, but these Louis L'Amour books, people sell them from anywhere for like 10 to $15 a book. There's a huge amount of them. I don't know, probably a hundred of them because he was a very prolific author. Yeah. But this is a line from the 80s. It's a leatherette covered collection from the 80s. Old um, guys love Louis L'Amour. Yep. Yeah, old guys love them. So I paid like $2 for this whole lot. I, did, I was not listing them individually for $10 a piece. I just put them up as one whole lot. They've been listed for maybe a week. Yeah, you haven't had them for real long. Now, I've had them for a while, but I, I sucked Maybe at like listing them. So. I, yeah, I, 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 they've only been listed for about a week. Mm -hmm. uh, and they sold fairly quickly on Etsy. Somebody, Somebody's dad or grandpa is going to get these for Christmas. For sure. Uh, Ooh, they sold nice. for $129.95. Plus, I charged $10 shipping. They are going, uh, they're going to go media mail. So mm -hmm. uh, it's early enough that they'll get there for Christmas. Oh, we hope. Uh, but I charge $10 shipping. It'll probably be somewhere around $7 or $8 shipping for media yeah. mail. But that's Very the way to go. And Very nice. It was a nice sale. Very nice. Okay. Um, Are you, did you not show them? You're what? Not, you're not sharing. Is it, oh, oh, no. Am I not sharing? Hold on a second, guys. Sorry. Yes, they're invisible. Can you go back and show them? Yes. Sorry. Thanks, Cheryl. You were just us staring at a screen. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but yeah, they're they're these are like those old cowboy books. Like I know my my mom's brother like would always like he reads them over and over again and um old rancher dudes think these are great books but is it still on i've us? never read them what it's no look no, this okay. is what it is right Just here checking. that's right here the chat was delayed sorry um okay so next up is this los angeles raiders shirt it's funny because i had one very similar to this that sold maybe like a month or two ago and i sold for 90 dollars. and um and then so when i <laughs> found this one and i bought it for $15. Uh, I knew uh, I was like, awesome, because I knew I was gonna be able to sell it. And I think I'd gotten like some messages from somebody thinking that it was crazy that I had this listed for so much. And then look at this, I sold it for $126. So I paid like 15 sold for um, 126. Uh, these t shirt jerseys, um, depending on the team, sometimes can go for quite a bit. But apparently, the Raiders ones always do really well. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, and I think that's Yeah, that's it. So we got, yeah, I got something else next? to show. It's, oh. it's, it's some, it has to do with my, oh yeah, I'll show that before. All right. So let's go ahead and get That's into, it. I would hold up the baby in between stuff, but she's falling asleep. So we'll wait till the end of the show. Um, just so I don't have to wake her up, but she's like totally shut to eat my shirt. 
I got a protective blanket on my lap and now she's uh, passed now she's out. out cold. Now she's just totally passed out and looking really cute. So why don't you go ahead? Uh, most of the haul today is going to be Vicky's hard goods. Yep. Um, she got some really cool stuff. And uh, what'd you get? Some, some, some stuff I scouted. A couple things. You did. A few things. So this was something I'd picked up last week, but I didn't bring it up to show it for some reason. But this is a vintage uh, mid-century like 1950s you can see like that this is kind of like the art deco the 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 silver and the lines so i paid 20 dollars for this last week and it's a vintage it's a u.s army uh plane the plane actually moves and it's got like a little guy in the cockpit if you can see it's got a little like Lugia. plastic dude in the cockpit and it has an ashtray in it uh, it doesn't have a lot of markings, but if you just look at like vintage airplane ashtray, these sell for upwards of $200. I think I'll get probably two to $300 for it. Air Force. Thank you, Chris. Crazy. Uh, Crazy. Air, this one's Air Force, not Army. Um, but I should get upwards of $200 for this. I'm going to list it for about $2.99 and see what happens. They do sell very well. A few people do sell them uh, too cheaply because I don't think they know what they are. But the ones that uh, you know do the research and figure out what it is, they know that it's gonna it, it will sell for more. So I mm -hmm. haven't listed it yet, but I'm going to list it for around $300. I expect to get between $200 and $300 for it. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. So that was a big find last week. Uh, so this week we went back to the same same sale and everything this week was 50% off. Plus they had added a lot more. Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff was priced a little high last week. And I was able to pick up uh, stuff at 50% off plus a whole section of the house they hadn't yeah. opened last week. So, uh, you know, one of my favorites, of course, Mr. Christmas, Mr. Christmas stuff. I paid $7.50 for this guy. He's not new, but he's in the box. Um, and I, I should probably sell him for about 50 He's a Santa Claus tree topper that's animated. I love sales like that where it's people who actually take care of their stuff and they have like, it was another one where they had like the boxes, boxes for mm -hmm. almost everything. Yeah. They had the boxes and a lot of stuff. And I really like that. Uh, this one is a, a good one. This one is actually new in the box because it's still secured in a couple spots. Uh, but it's again, Mr. Christmas, uh, Santa's marching band. And this was one that you thought was too much last week. I didn't buy it and last luckily, week because I thought it was used and it was priced pretty high. It was priced at $30, $30 last week, $30 and used. And it would have gone for maybe like 80, 85, but this particular one, because it's new and it's in the box, this one should be go, should go for almost 200. That's crazy. Uh, and I paid 15 for it because it was too expensive last week. Uh, let's see. So again, Mr. Christmas animated stuff. This is the time of the year, right? This I only paid a dollar for. So this is not uh, an Avon advent calendar, but it's the same era as those vintage felt uh, Christmas calendars. This is an advent calendar. It is a Christmas advent calendar. Um, and this is, it's not new, it's used, but it has all of the pieces that a bunch of little things that attach to it. Um, it's just a felt advent. This thing's going to sell for about $150. I paid a dollar. Do not forget to look at little Christmas things. It's got all these little doohickeys that, that are Velcroed onto the thing, but it has its original box. It has the instructions. It was sold by a company that was like a catalog company. I want to say it's like like Lillian Vernon or Finger Hut, but not that. Um, <clears throat> L. Larry Warren and Associates. It sounds like it's like a catalog company. So again, I paid a dollar. I should get at least 150, maybe 175. The last one sold for about 175, no and that was about six months ago. There are none listed right now. So this is prime Christmas season. So I think I should get that for it. Crazy. <clears throat> this is another uh, set that I paid. These are Hallmark. I paid 20, uh, sorry, $12.50 for the set. They had them marked for $25. Uh, this is a set of Hallmark ornaments. They're not quite ornaments. They're these little figurines. They're called um, the Christmas pageant. It's like a choir thing. They play I don't, music? They do play music. Uh, the batteries are probably dead or they might be off. I don't know. Yeah, batteries are dead. But there are these little angels, and they're a set of four, and they all have different um, hair and different, um, like, little instruments. 
So last year I, I sold these individually for about 75 to a hundred dollars a piece. I'm not so sure if I'm going to bother to do individual this year. I might, the prices seem to have come down a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, list them as a set for 200 and just let it go. So I paid $12. Again, I'm going to get all this stuff listed this week. This is the time to get all this stuff listed quickly. I did buy a lot of Christmas in the last uh, couple of weeks, and I've been trying to get it listed as quickly as possible. Yep. Because uh, I need to get it up there, right? Let's see. This is just a, I don't usually buy salt and pepper shakers, but Cheryl, you'll probably like these. I paid $5 for this set. Um, this is kind of like, have you, if you've ever seen the um, Miss Kitty type of vintage kitchenware, this is Perlina Pig and uh, Pernell, Pernell and Perlina. This is, they're like, it's a character. So if you find like Miss Kitty vintage um stuff you, you it sells really really well this is made in japan hand painted this is by lorraine ellum let's see if i can find styled by lorraine ellum <clears throat> made in japan these actually sell it depends on what you have like they have a there's a cookie jar there's like a creamer and a tea set this is just the salt and pepper shaker and they're pretty big they're like six inches they're not little tiny ones uh but these this will sell for about 40 to 50 dollars just for this set so i only wanted to show it because there are none listed right now and i wanted you to see like uh i, I probably would not have picked it up except i saw it was only five dollars and made in japan i was like all right i'm gonna get them uh, let's see. Hey, Will, haven't seen you in a while. Look, who's, look who woke up. Oh, Ripley's awake. A little cat nap. Let's see. That's scary. So this is a uh, Gemi. I paid $5, 50% off. I didn't see that. So this is a Gemi skeleton head. Uh, he is motion activated. It's one of the older ones. I like to press the button. And uh, he's real cute. Very handsome. Uh, I think I'll probably sell that for about 50. And then let's see. So I spent about $350 at this particular estate sale. The only one I went to all weekend, but I got a lot of stuff. And I have one item. I did photograph a whole lot of things. And I have one item that will probably pay for the entire lot. And <clears throat> I did open it. I did check it. It is not only complete, but it is new in the box. So it is a brand new Nintendo Switch. It was complete. I paid... They had it priced at one. They had it priced at one twenty-five. Half of that. I paid fifty percent of that, so sixty-seven fifty, and uh, it, this will sell for about three fifty. <laughs> Danica said, "Yeah, sixty-two fifty. Uh, Danica said, "It sounds like the skull was lotion activated." <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I sound terrible. Motion activated. Yeah. So my entire haul will pay. Um, I will pay for with this one thing. Yep, she was in the garage. I, I was like, you got to get that. And uh, and then also, new I think box. she should sell it locally <clears throat> and just get cash for it, personally. Lorna! Lorna Yay! Pants! Uh, this one I paid $7.50. These are Switch Extra Controllers. These sell for $50 to $60. Bucks. These are new in the box as well. Paid $7.50. Also new in the box, I paid $37.50 for this. This is the original NES Classic Edition that came out, I don't know. A couple of years ago. A couple of years couple ago, of anyway. Ago. This sells for about 150 So this will sell. At also, all of these things, new in the box. I don't know. These people must have bought stuff for their grandkids or whatever. Um, and then the last of the um, the cool things that I found that were like video game related is I, I got two... These I paid $20 a piece for. So two DS Lite game systems. So one is in the blue, like this teal blue. And one is in pink. And they both have the stylus and everything included and these little kits that they come in. I paid $20 a piece. I'm going to test everything and make sure that, you know, these are the only things that are used. 
These do sell for about $75 to $100 a piece with the kit. So uh, I agree with you, Turtle. Uh, that's what it's like here usually. Uh, the last few weeks, I've been very, very fortunate. I don't know what's changed, but uh, I do not generally have good luck at estate sales here. No. So, well, I, um, I do think that with this particular sale, like Vicki said, last week they were full price and this week they went to 50% off, but they opened up a whole, the, like the whole back patio in the garage for the first time this weekend. I think that they were kind of like, F it, we've been to this place for 10 days now. Let's just get everything out of here. They were done. They were done. So I think that that's why all this stuff sold for so cheap. Because I'm sure they would have sold that switch for 125 bucks if it would if it actually had been full price. Right. I think that would have sold anyway. Mm -hmm. I might have bought it for 125. That's why it was still there, Jennifer. Because it wasn't. Because we got in. They only. We were in the front of the line. I think there were what three people in front of us. Yeah, and they, they were. And they only let ten in. And so at a time, so we, we got in there right away. And I'm not even showing you everything I bought. I'm just showing you the best stuff. Yeah. This is something I left behind last week because I thought it was priced too high. It was priced at what? 30? No, priced at 25. You just weren't interested in it for whatever reason. No, I, I thought it was priced too high at 25. Well, I bought it for 12.50 this week. And this is a quartz alarm clock. And I was able to look it up. This sells for about $150. What's funny though, is that there was so much stuff there, so we couldn't look at everything. But that, the first week, I, I thought it was really cool. I didn't look it up. I just thought it was cool. And she was like, oh, it's too much. And so then this this last weekend, I basically just grabbed it and put it in the pile. I didn't even clear it with her first. And so we went to put everything in the car. And she's like, oh, you bought that? And she was kind of like, not really sure. And then she looks up and she's like, oh, you bought that? Yes. That was a good one. <laughs> yep. And then, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I got. All your stuff that's pretty much it yeah okay you want to take this i will squiggly? take the, i will take the squiggly puppy yeah come here puppy girl she's snuggly but she's a little bit a little bit rotten but only a little bit okay i i really only have five things guys seriously um so like a couple weeks ago I, we were when we went to savers i got two things this was one of them you know i always buy i always grab my christian stuff and so of course i had to get this like why is this in my face the seal of faith is just like a christian sweatshirt i paid four dollars for it um so whatever i'll list this probably i'll probably try to sell it for like 70 um also i had a baby ruth t-shirt that i was in the middle of listing and i just went and looked really quick um i don't comp everything but something that's easy like that i'll just look and see like oh does it sell are there a bazillion of them out there and somebody had this listed for five dollars plus shipping and so i went ahead and bought it it's a 90s uh it says want a light baby ruth eat half the real deal it's super dirty too it needs to be washed um, like it was like sitting on the floor in their garage or something. Um, it just needs to be washed. Uh, but anyway, $5 plus shipping, I think all told it would end up being like $13 and they shipped it priority. It was weird. I'm like, why are you shipping a $5 t-shirt priority? But, um, anyway, I'll list that one for like 70. Um, so the sale that we went back to, uh, that's, it's the same sale that last weekend I got all the, those 22 t-shirts for 50 cents each. So I went in there with her and the one lady was like, hey, you bought all that, uh, all those um, T-shirts last week, right? All the UNLV stuff. And I said, yeah. And she's like, there's actually a couple of kid size jackets, vintage jackets back there if you want to go get them. And so I, I'll probably just trade these in to Jesse because um, yesterday's Fitz is located like right across the street from UNLV. They sell a lot of UNLV stuff there. And I'm sure something like this, some of these got kids that they'll want to have uh, a jacket like this. The one downside is that they do have embroidered on them the name Michael, but they're still super cute, a little vintage. You can stitch rip it out. Yeah, maybe. That's my necklace. No but anyway, uh, just super cute little 80s uh, running Rebels, which is the basketball team um, jackets. And this one's, this one's even better. This one's real cute, but they still see Michael on. Um, let me see the back. Really, really cute. She's very interested in what I know. Showing. You want this? I want to bite it. She says, yes, I want to bite it. Yes, I want to, I want to bite it. Um, all right, so that's my four things. Okay, so we're going to end the show. Now, I want to go back to sharing the screen real quick. Um, and I want to say, do you guys remember, I showed this uh, right after ThriftCon, or the first show we did after ThriftCon, when I went into ThriftCon, Jesse was like, hey, I bought this jacket. If you don't want to pay for it, I'll just give it to you. 
He's like, I only paid $20 for it. The guy wanted 50. I told the guy, I'm just going to give it to my friend for whatever I paid for it to you. And so he got it for 20 bucks. Um, because it's, if you can see the sleeves are absolutely destroyed. I don't, they're like leather, but they're like holes. You can see that they're all torn up. Uh, but you can see like huge holes, just really, really bad condition, but the graphic is awesome. It's a snowboarding, uh, jacket. So he knew that I would be really into it, but it's in such bad condition. So I was like, heck yeah, I want it for 20 bucks. So I got it for 20 bucks. And then, um, uh, Crystal came over and I was like, you know, Crystal uh, works for Vicky, but she also does all of uh, all of our repairs. And so I was like, hey, what do you think you do with this jacket? Like, would it be would it make sense to patch the sleeves? Maybe like do something crazy, like patch them with denim or I don't know. Is it even worth it? And she's like, well, I could just cut the sleeves off and make it like a vest. And then uh, she was like, or I could put like, if you want to take like a sweatshirt, I can, I can basically cut the sleeves off and like replace the sleeves. And so I ran upstairs really quick and looked through my inventory and I was able to find a sweatshirt um, that was actually dead stock in the perfect, perfect color uh, to basically um, use for this. Hey, ow. And let me tell you, she went home and she did it right away and came back. Seriously, guys, look at this jacket. Look at the sleeves. So th this is from a dead stock sweatshirt. Dead stock sweatshirt. It looks fantastic. This jacket actually fits me. Um, the color isn't quite accurate on the screen. It's real close. No, on the screen. I oh. said. Uh, but it looks fantastic. So the sleeves and the body of the jacket itself doesn't have any holes. There's some definitely some issues with the lining, but who cares about that? If you're wearing the jacket, you're not going to be able to see that. So it actually looks freaking amazing. But look at this. I'm going to put this side by side here. I guess. Hold on. I'm trying to make it. Eh. I you guess can't I can't. See it. You can kind of see it. Let me. Nobody can see it. You don't know. It's about as good as it gets. Anyway, but look at how much better it looks. It looks so freaking great. I so, think it looks better with the blue sleeves than it did with the purple. Yeah. So, uh, so I paid twenty dollars for it, and then Crystal did the repair, which she said was actually pretty pretty easy, um, and it only cost me another twenty bucks. So I'm all in. I'm into this jacket for forty dollars. I'll probably list it for like two hundred. But like, look at. I mean, it's it's so cool now. It's so cool. I told Vicky it was gonna be my new winter jacket. She's she doesn't really want to be seen in public with me, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's pretty fucking cool. Sorry, dudes. It's anyway, pretty cool. Crystal is awesome. That's all I can say. I wish I, I could clone her. I can't wait to take that in to yesterday's fits when I go in there next and show it off to them because I think Jesse's going to be blown away by it. All right. So that's everything. That's, that's it. all I have. Do you? Would you like to? It's only three oh eight. Would you like to? What's wrong with us? What's What's going on with the puppy right now? She's trying to eat my shirt now. That's trying. Yeah, she's a little. She's like she doesn't destroy things, but she's very mischievous. She's very bitey. She's very mischievous. And she'll be very bitey, but then she'll fall asleep and she's like the cutest thing ever. And when she plays with the other dogs, it's great. Especially Luna. Luna's our little chunky chihuahua who doesn't move around enough. And she usually plays on her own for like maybe 10, 15 seconds a night. But now that the puppy's here, they like actually play quite a bit. So we're very happy about that because she needs the exercise. She's definitely a little too chunky and not getting enough activity. So... But this baby, we love her. She's so cute. Look She's a good girl. She's still only about 75% potty trained, mm -hmm. but we're working on it. We think she's potty trained and then she, then she decides that she's just going to, I'm just going to go to the bathroom over here. So she's pretty awesome. But yeah, she has got, but yeah, bigger. she has gotten bigger. She's gained a pound. She's real cute. She's almost four pounds now. Well, she, no, she's just over three and a half pounds. Yeah. Aren't you just the cutest little thing ever? Yeah. She's a good girl. She sleeps all night long. Mm -hmm. She does. She knocks That's... out. She knocks out about by ten o'clock, and she'll sleep until seven seven thirty. It li it really literally only took us four nights to train her to sleep train her to sleep train her to stay to be in her crate and be quiet the entire night, and and even those four nights, it really wasn't. Once I um once I found the trick to teaching her how to be chill in the in the crate. It really was a matter of just like tweaking it a little bit. And then it's ever since the one night she's she slept happy. through, she slept all the way through. She'll, she wakes herself up at like, like at last night, 1130 at night. I hear her crunching on her food in there because we do put kibble in there for her. And so she, she gets up, has a little snack, 
puts herself back to bed. Doesn't bother us. So a good girl. Very good girl. Because I was like, I don't know if we can handle not getting to sleep ever. Good thing I never had kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that only lasted four nights. So uh, we have to actually go back to Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. uh, suddenly, we weren't planning on it in, in just about three weeks. Uh, just for a quick three-day visit, um, there's a documentary that I've been a part of for the past six years. We've been filming this documentary, and it's finally done, and we're having the premiere in Rhode Island. Uh, so Katie is flying back with me. So I'm not real happy about leaving her at all yet, uh, but at least we know she sleeps all night. So Dana and Johnny can puppy sit for a couple of days, and she'll be yeah. okay. Yeah. But look at this cute little, look at this cute little face. Look at this cute little face. Look at it. <laughs> look at it you're so silly yeah she is the cutest dog ever i mean come on this one who didn't even want a puppy it's not because i didn't want a puppy i just like the idea of rescuing dogs that are older but i love all dogs if you know me at all every single dog i'm going to be in love with uh yeah. yes it, it's there's no spoilers but it's it is it is about the the station fire uh it's a documentary i've been a part of for a long time uh it's called the guest list if you'd wanted to uh, look up on the website, there is uh, information Body. on the website um, and a trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it has been sold. And I, when I have the information about it, I will let you know. But I do believe it is going to be uh, shown on a television station that is streaming. Yeah. Uh, but we're doing the in-person premiere with the people that were actually in the movie. Laura would like puppy kisses. Yep. She is definitely a very kissable puppy when she's not trying to bite your face off. But she's a good girl. All right. All right. I guess that's it. To go down and go do some playing. I or need you, to go take some cold medicine. You still look real sleepy, dog. She's she's like this. She's probably going to go back to sleep. That's what probably. she does. Yeah, she's really, really sweet. All right. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And please, please, please enjoy your thanksgiving whatever you are doing um we are thankful for you guys so absolutely. thank you for coming and sharing your time with us weekly mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate you yeah and so you know we're gonna we're going to a friend's house for thanksgiving so we're looking forward to, to seeing our friends and having some yummy food hopefully uh, i will have cold. ourselves up hopefully my cold will be gone by then oh that's true um so possibly most likely we're doing that Hopefully we'll, this one over here will be feeling better by then. Or else somebody's bringing me a, a, a goodie bag. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Either way, uh, we, we will be enjoying the time off um, and chilling and just hanging out with our puppy who's so cute. And, uh, and we will see all of you guys next week. We'll see you next week. That. All right. Bye. Bye.